Okay, my friends, we are back with Great American Crap Review with Kyle. Uh, the funny story, I just tried to review this beer, I dropped half of it. This one's gonna go be good, I, I reviewed it, I dropped the beer trying to get it. Uh, for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today, have one of the local brew this, this, this got released this week. It's the Urban Artifact, folks, the Squeeze Box. Squeeze Box, it's a Midwest, uh, a strawberry Midwest fruit tart, tremendous beer. Uh, first year canning this in this company, uh, they, they bottled it, or, uh, not bottled, they drafted it and public released last year, and I love it. it. says, this Midwest fruit tart has 30, or 3,000 pounds of strawberries and 60 grams of vanilla beans per 30 barrel batch. We do not recommend selling this beer, so let's go ahead and get it going. A great beer. Love Urban Artifact. Love this beer, so let's get in. I, I want to talk about it a little bit. It's, uh, I've reviewed... Dozens of urban artifact beers, so I'm not going to really talk too much about the company. There's the pour, look at that color, the fruit, fruit tart. This release, I think it was in, uh, on draft release last Saturday, last Sunday. They got it in jungles on Wednesday. It is Friday, Thursday, so a couple of days. There's the pour. Tremendous beer. I love this beer. I will say a couple of things. It is 8.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah, right there, 8.5% ABV by volume. It uh, doesn't have the uh, IBLs, but it is a tremendous beer. I mean, in fact, I mean, the only one I have not liked for them is that flash lamp I tried last week. They're 11 for 12, in my opinion. I don't know if exactly 12 beers, but everything I've liked from them. I've not tried the Glimmer, which I heard was bad, but everything else. So, what's up? Let's get a quick nose. Oh, tons of straw. I mean, just strawberries. I mean, this glassware. <laughs> right then, there's, excuse me. Uh, just stepping the strawberry. Uh, a little bit of vanilla as well, but strawberry is the main figure in this beer. This is a squeeze box from Urban Artifact. Let's get a thank the brewers at Urban for creating uh, innovative, unique beers. I will say that I've I pushed them down to number two on my Cincinnati Best Brewery list. I just I want to go with Listerman as one. I went to their tap room. I just I've not been Urban's tap room. I need to go. I need to go like ASAP. Uh, I just feel like Listerman to me like I I'm not crazy crazy about the Western fruit tarts. Now everything I've liked from them I've loved. I think they're great beers. I like trying them. I I like sour beers. I like tarts, beer, tart beers. But I feel like Wilson just does it a more traditional norm. You know, England IPA, they have the stouts, there's some porters, uh, you know, some blonde ales, amber ales. Uh, but I feel like Urban Artifact does none of those. And I'm not even knocking them. I mean, Urban Artifact, that's why Urban Artifact is an Artifact, because they have done so many unique beers. And they're awesome. And it's, this is not in any way for me to say anything negative. I, Urban Artifact is tremendous. I think, you know, they saw they were third best sour company behind Cascade and Crooked Stave. And I went off on that phone there. You probably can't see his review. But uh, let's say cheers to Urban and let's get it going, folks. Cheers. Sun is setting quickly. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I tell you what. That is just so awesome. I mean, oh, my God, folks. 8.5% alcohol. Yeah, no alcohol. 8.5 is tremendous. The vanilla beans kick in late. It's strawberry mania up front. Strawberry madness. Which is good. If you like straw I would say if you don't like strawberries, do not drink this beer, which I feel like 80% of America does like strawberries. My god, is this good. I'm gonna sip here. Oh my god. The flavors of the vanilla beans. It's the same. Every year, but that beer is the same because of the vanilla beans they use. And I'm not, I'm not knocking. I think I love everything they make. I feel like I'm kind of getting to the point with Ryan Geist. It's just different fruits. Ryan Geist is the same with the pale ales and the IPAs. Every artifact is using the same amount of vanilla beans, same base, just different fruits. They could do a peach squeeze box or a blueberry squeeze box or a plum squeeze box or a grapefruit squeeze box or an orange or banana watermelon. And, I, and I'm not, again, I'm not knocking them. I think it's great. They just use the same kind of recipe. Every beer every, every they make it. Even the Milkman Stout had 30. They did make the one Milkman Stout, which had 30. But, my God, is it good. I tell you what, folks. Lemon mm -hmm. Onion on a four-pack. Uh, it's a great beer. today. plus. Solid gold. Five, five stars here. Uh, folks, if you if you get the Urban Heart Pack Squeeze Box, I'm sitting here. Or if you're just, you know, if you're around, if you're out of the town area and see it. Well, maybe if you want to do a trade, I don't know, I've talked to a lot of folks in Maryland, uh, i talked to people from out of state, if you guys want to maybe do a trade, you know, a one pack, or one or maybe two, I'll give you two of these for one beer, I'll even do two for one. That's how willing and generous that I am, if anybody wants to do a trade, I will do two for one of any Cincinnati beer, not just this particular beer, to try anything out of state. You know, I was talking to a guy from Maryland, he was trying to try some beers, 
anybody I talked to a couple people from Arkansas before if they want to do anything two for one I will do it I'm not I'm not that type of guy I'm, I'm gonna I'll, I'll give him go three for one if somebody gives me a great beer that I, that's a nice person I don't care about money uh, unless it's like a 45 hour six pack which they're charging up in the East Coast but or a 25 hour bond if I can get it two for, two for one I'll do it just to try new shit and just get a review and just to try new beer so Again, this is a great beer. It's an A+. Plus. If you can get your hands on this locally, I don't know why people locally have already drank this. I drank this last year. I think it's phenomenal. A squeeze box, Urban Artifact. Life's too short, my friends. You must be happy and drink good craft beer. Squeeze box, Urban Artifact. Uh, cheers, everybody. Go X. This is, Texas Southern is a good basketball team. Uh, I went to the playing game Wednesday. Uh, obviously, I was hyping the Q's Arizona State game. That was the main entree. But the appetizer was uh, NC Central and Texas Southern. And Texas Southern is a good basketball team. They blew out NC Central. And it wasn't even just NC Central was bad. I think, and again, this was not great. But I feel like Texas Southern is athletic. And Mike Davis, former Hoosier coach, they can play. So, cheers, everybody. Go X and go UC and go Michigan tomorrow. And again, life's too short, my friends. Try the Urban Artifact Squeeze Box. You went up at this point. Cheers, everybody. See you soon.